اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to report mediation analysis. In the last session we estimated this model with these mediators, this IV, this TV and these are the moderators. In this session we are going to learn how to report mediation analysis results. Now in order to report mediation analysis we require certain ingredients. We need something to work with. The first and most important is your indirect effect, whether the impact of IV on DV through the mediating variable is significant or not. You need the total effect, the impact of IV on DV without the involvement of the mediator or the sum of your direct and indirect effects. Direct effect, that is the effect of IV on DV in presence of the mediator. And then we need to assess the type of mediation, whether it is partial or full. When the direct effect is significant and the indirect effects are significant, this is partial mediation. But if the indirect effect is significant and the direct effect is insignificant, this is full mediation. This has been discussed previously. Now here are the hypotheses. We have previously done up until H9. Those were just the direct relationship between the independent, the mediators or the mediators and the dependent variable. So now we've got mediation hypothesis. I've got four mediators, so four hypotheses. But for this example, I'm just going to do one and you can follow the similar pattern and report the others. Mediation analysis. So you may start by writing in the heading mediation analysis. I try to keep the direct relationships separate from the mediation and moderation analysis. So the first step, mediation analysis was performed to assess the mediating role of Let's say we are doing, let's look at the output and let's do a significant one. Report specific indirect effects and IM, ISQ and OP. This is significant. Let's do this one. Yeah, this one, H13. So the mediating variable was ISQ. And if you are using abbreviations, Make sure you have previously put in the abbreviations in the text as well. And let's say your IV is internal marketing and your DV is organizational performance. Now the results revealed, obviously the table number here is the table and the table number will change because previously we had reported different tables. In this case, let's for now keep it this way revealed a significant indirect effect of so the indirect effect of your internal marketing on your dependent variable that is your organizational performance so what is your indirect effect through isq so the results revealed a significant indirect effect of IM on OP through ISQ on so where is your beta value let's come back here have a look 0.166 what is your T statistics 3.638 and your P value is less than yes so this is fine the total effect of IM on OP was significant. Is it? Where is your total effect? Look at this. Total effects. IM on OP. 0.724. 0.724 and your T statistics. IM and OP. 19.363. Three six three and p-value is fine. With the inclusion of the mediator, the effect of your IM, that is your direct effect, was still significant. So what was your direct effect? That is in presence of the mediator. When we say in presence, the mediators are in the model. And here in the path coefficients, you have got your direct effect. IM OP, although reduced, look at this, the total effect was high. Direct effect is 0.552. 
7.807 and the p-value if I'm not wrong yes it's still the same okay this shows a complementary partial mediating role of ISQ in the relationship between CSR and in this case IV was IM OP hence H13 was supported why complementary because you are P1, P2, P3 or A1, A2, C whatever label you want to give your path coefficient that is the impact of IV on MV now this is let's say we need path coefficients here so this one here look at this this is positive look at the beta value this is positive this is positive now if you multiply these three you will have a positive result now in this case this is complementary if any one of them would have been negative this would have been competitive partial mediation why partial because your direct and indirect effects are significant now this has been discussed in detail in previous videos now moving on how do you put them in your table here is the table so you need first the total effect as reported earlier you need to put in the coefficient t value p value you need the direct effect that is in presence of the mediator that you get from path coefficients and finally you need the indirect effect of csr on op through in this case isq well and finally you need the indirect effects of im on op through internal service quality and you get it from specific indirect effects and this is h13 simply you need to put the coefficient standard error t value p values percentile 95 percent confidence interval where is it so let's look at the percentile bias constructed confidence interval here it is look at this im isq op here it is this one the first one here 0 0.096 0 0.246 there is no zero in between if there would have been zero in between then there would have been no mediation so this is how you can report your mediation you need to change these labels as well you can just create one single table format it like this by removing the borders and all and similarly you can do it for the rest of your hypothesis as well i hope this session would have helped you understand how to report your mediation analysis results in smart pls4 thank you very much